Okay guys, uh, my name is Muhammad Shahzad Arshad and today we are going to make another video for uh, it's uh, Microsoft related and uh, we will see how to install 2019 server on our ESXi uh, Blade server. So let's go and uh, start the configuration. I'll go direct to my, you know, vCenter. And in our vCenter, we'll use this guy, uh, 192.168.200.103, my HP server. And this server have enough uh, resources like uh, CPU, memory, and storage we have. So for uh, 2019 server, minimum requirement is uh, RAM is 512 and 30 GB storage is enough and uh, one CPU is enough. So I will just go for practice only. Uh, definitely when you have a higher processing applications and things, the network is big and uh, you want to put domain controller and other things, file server, FTP, like various, uh, there's other requirement. But for our practice, we will start from here. So what I did uh, on this server, I already have in the data store uploaded the evaluation uh, version. If I go in my this, uh, right click and browse. So we can see here, I have already uploaded the ISO file here and uh, 2019 evaluation. This one, 4GB file you, you have to upload. Just uh, come to your data store, browse, and then uh, do that on. Uh... Okay. So uh, I have uploaded this one, uh, the evaluation. You can download from Microsoft website. It's free for 180 days. Okay. So let's go back on our main server and then we'll start to make. Uh, and start to make a virtual machine and I'll make a new virtual machine here we go next windows 2019 sorry okay s or v1 okay here next Okay, compatibility checks is succeeded. Next. And uh, we have enough free space on one and HP. Let's go on, okay, let's go on this one. Okay, better to go on the second one. Because my operating system is also running on this data center, ESXi. So better to use the other one. Next. Okay, next. Okay, we'll choose here. So right now, here is no 2019. So better, we will choose another thing. Windows, Microsoft. Okay, so <laughs> the latest one, we'll choose here. So it's better, uh, this one, the VMware guys also should put the 201 nine but it's okay uh, this is on this base uh, base of this uh, vmware is going to calculate the resources next okay so it's give uh, four gig of ram and this i don't need four gig okay let's go okay no issues if you want minimum is 512 uh, gb a uh, 512 uh, mb and you can go 1 GB, 2 GB is also enough. Okay, let's go with the 4 one, so it will be faster. I have enough resources. Next. Okay, finish. So machine will be created. Okay, completed. Let's go back on summary page and let's see our, here is the guy. Okay, so we'll, Second, we have to give uh, iOS image in the CD. We'll go here, here, data, ISO. We'll go on second. 
ISO files and we have win 2019 evaluation okay and I'll ask connect at power on okay done so I will start the power started let's go here we go 2019 server okay English next install okay so desktop experience standard or data center we'll go for data center here we go okay data center full and core you know before they pretend GUI are core so right now desktop and desktop experience evaluation data center Accept. next custom use this one my hard drive full for the windows file okay here we go next and it will start now so i will just pause the video until it's getting uh, installed all the files and when it's completed i will come back okay after several time restart it will come here so the automatic first username will be administrator and we have to give a password okay finish it will finalize our settings Okay, so here you go. It's similar to Windows 10, but it's our server 2019. So give a password. setting up the first time use of desktop and the user settings here you go oh, okay so this is our server let's see if we have already if he's asking for the VMware tool is not installed I will just click and we'll ask mount and after mounting we'll go back and see if it is prompted here or we will go inside still working on the back Okay, VMware tool is mounted. Okay, and run. Installing the VMware tools.
similar to like 2012 uh, this management server manager similar like that there is not a big big difference okay we'll say don't give us this one again and if we go here manager properties do not open this bar again so it's pretty same in in sense of configurations and other things it's uh, simple and same like 2012 2016 and 2019 it's also there is some extra but mostly for uh, interface is similar the first page this one is uh, similar to windows 10 but the uh, server manager similar to 2012 and 2016 But for boot time and uh, for restart time is uh, more faster than the 12 and 16 obviously graphics are much lighter than the 2012 and 16 okay we well, after installing the VMware tools we have to restart the machine Okay, booting up. okay here it is so i will close the console and i will open the console again okay so see it's bigger now and stretch to the graphic card of my laptop Hey, here you go with the 2019 server. Okay, if you go to server manager, similar, you can do all the configurations from the server manager. And uh, like DNS, you can make it uh, domain controller, you can make it FTP server, file server, and WSUS server, whatever you want to make it. So you can do it on this machine. It's not uh, pretty easy like the other servers we have installed in the previous time of the years. Like here, if you go similar, if I go local computer, you can see, you can change the time zone. It's all similar, right? okay so this was the video uh, related to how to install 2012 server and uh, hopefully you enjoyed to installing a 2000 sorry 2019 server so if you like the video kindly hit the like button and do not do not forget to subscribe my channel because uh, there is other exciting technologies videos coming and hit the bell icon for further notifications thank you take care stay home stay safe